previously. Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria and when we last left off we did some planteras, we did some uh, fishing and we did some the final of our pirate maps and let's begin as we always do with I come here Ivan I think we have some of those we have one of those that was lucky all right buddy yeah uh, take this come here. <sighs> sadly Still did not get the one item we want, but you know what, that's fine, we can put away this stuff. And we're done, and now we can get on with today's quest, and surprisingly, we are not going to fight Plantera, nor are we going to fight the pirates. Instead, I'm going to take a suggestion from the suggestion board, and it was one that was left, uh, is actually going to save you a bunch of time, and it's something I'd completely forgotten, and it is from Zachary Zenner who wants me to farm pirate maps, and he gave me a piece of advice on how to farm pirate maps. So thank you very much, Zachary Zinner, for that. I'm going to do that now. And he reminded me that what we could do is wire up a crab statue, because crabs are classed as enemies. Wire up a crab statue in, or I guess any old statue, but crabs would work, I guess. Wire one of these up. In the ocean biome, and that would create a bunch of crabs, which would drop a bunch of maps. And he said to wire it up with a one second timer. However, I'm not going to do that because you know that's one crab every one second, and that's way too slow. So instead, I'm going to make it so we can get a lot more crabs than that. And we need a green pressure plate for that. There we go. I think that's all we need. No, we need some blocks. Let's take some uh, glass blocks. Why not take some glass blocks? 20 of them shall do, and that should be everything we need. So, we could go do this in the ocean biome. The best bet is actually... Is it raining? Oh, freaking odds. Best bet is actually just to go straight to the underwater base and just build it in the north base. Technically, it's classed as the ocean biome, so should all work. And now we could build it. Now, too many wires here. We need to build it away from all these wires. So I'm thinking, what if we build it right? I thought it was a health bar then. Yeah, let's build it right here. Also, I mean, I didn't bring all the things that I need. I am so stupid. I need this, thank you, I need this, thank you, and I need a couple more of these. A bunch more of these. That me. There we go. Right, now, unless I'm forgetting something, which I could be. You know what, let's... Let's increase our rods. Let's bring two crab statues. The more the merrier. So this isn't going to take us too long to rig up, and it should give us a bunch of maps. Now, the one issue is we can't, like, put lava. I guess we could put a bit of lava down. But I'm not going to. Lava will destroy items, but only if it's a certain depth. If we were to rig it up so that it wasn't very deep, we could indeed... That should be high enough, I think. Right, uh, we could rig it up so that the... My god, my brain. We could rig it up so that the items are not destroyed in lava, but we're not going to do that. Right, we'll put that there, we're going to put that here. And then what we're going to do is just drag a red line across like that. Maybe that, I can't remember if we have to do that. Then we're going to get a green line do it like this and then we're gonna get a blue line and do it like this so what we have here is actually even though it looks like it's not touching the crab statues it actually is so if I stand on one of these pressure plates now it will summon some crabs and then those crabs can stand on pressure plates and they can create many crabs themselves so just by doing that look oh 
I guess I didn't make this tall enough. But you know what? Hey, that's why we brought this stuff. Come on, crabs, get in here. This way. Stupid crabs. I'll do. So now we do it again. And that's going to make a bunch of crabs, especially if they keep jumping up and down like that, you see. No, it's not perfect. I could also wire in a one second crab stat a one second crab statue. A one second timer to make sure if I do kill them, at least other crabs will pop off. Uh I kinda wanna put a pressure plate over here, but I can't. I can build the wall. And the thing is I can't build the wall closer because of this. Let's get rid of all those crabs. Right. That should be fine now. Maybe. No, it's not perfect. Ah, uh, how am I going to do this? What is the best? If it was a blood moon, we could be okay with this. Or maybe... No, actually, I don't know. Hmm. Let's go home. We'll wire up a one second thing to it. And then maybe I should... I just don't want to put lava in there because it's going to be so annoying to scoop it back out. Uh, although if I did... Let me think. That might work. No, it would kill them instantly. Would it kill them instantly? Ah, screw it. We'll just put a trap in. Um, super dark trap will do. That'll do. It's it's basically automating it, so I don't have to do anything. Although it won't do stuff unless I'm in a vicinity, so I will have to stay here while it does this. But it shouldn't be bad. Right, so if I put this, like, here, and I put this... Didn't want to do that. Now I can't place it down. I knew that was going to happen. Place that there. Uh, and then we want our old Thing of a big, thing of big, or whatever. So why this one up? But I actually don't want it to touch that because that will automate one second of uh, arrows firing. I mean, I don't want to automate the arrows. I want it to be reactive rather than proactive. Uh, we're going to turn our lamps on and off, I think. But now what we should have. Yeah, so this is completely self-contained now. And that is just going to keep killing stuff over and over. We could kill them faster. However, if we kill them faster, what's going to happen is it, they're not going to jump on the switches as, meant, as much as what they currently are. And right now it's producing a bunch of crabs. So we just leave this going. Eventually it will give a bunch of maps. So what I was thinking about doing, I was thinking about raising these crab statues up a little bit and putting lava underneath. That way they would spawn, wander off, drop onto the switch, creating more, but also... That's a problem. But also uh, dying in the lava, but without there being enough lava to destroy uh, the... the stuff. Right, I do need this. So I made a mistake and I've wired up the timer to the pressure plate, which means the pressure plates will turn the timer on and off, which is what we don't want. So what we're actually gonna do is separate that there. So now this one will always be creating a crab from here. Whereas that works anyway. If we do that, that should be fully.
I'm an idiot. Sorry, I, I am I am an absolute giant idiot. The let me turn this off. Let's turn it on. Right, the <laughs> Go away please. I I just did it. I destroyed the blue, it's not even connected on blue, it's connected on red. Right now. Now that should be automated. So even if we get unlucky enough that the dart trap kills off all enemies, because it does pierce, which is important. Even if we're unfortunate enough and it kills off all the enemies, the fact that there's a one second timer will make sure that if there's no enemies, one extra crab will spawn, which will then walk over to the pressure plates. Now activating the pressure plate will cause it to get shot, but it will of course create a bunch more crabs, and they should survive long enough to hit more pressure plates and do the process over and over and over. And then if we run out of crabs again, of course the one second timer is there to work. So the only downside here is that I can't place my sunflower back down, and the reason for this is because it doesn't let you place them if there's a background wall. So if I were to use my hammer and remove the background wall, it would actually let me put the sunflower down. So I'm going to do that right now. I teleport over here. And this shouldn't hit the enemies. Enemies are currently at this location, look, which is very annoying. Because they're not hitting the stuff. You will see, as I mentioned as well, it's still not good enough. The lamp going on and off because the wires cross where the lamp is. There we go. Because of the fact that the wires cross, cross, cross over where the lamp is, they keep turning it on and off, which is. A little unfortunate. Right, we need to go inside here. We're going to take some damage getting shot. But we're done. Right, this is completely self-sufficient. We put back down the sunflower. Well done. Yeah, so if you remember, when I was first adding all these trees and stuff, we couldn't have background, background walls. I had to dig up the background walls to be able to grow these things. That was very annoying. And again, I want to actually do that again because we can get different trees now that we're in the ocean biome. We get palm trees, which I would... Although, do I want palm trees or do I want these trees? Or I could get the mix of trees. If I destroy some of these and replace some of them. Look at the lamp flashing on and off, look. Did I see some rain? I swear down I saw some rain. But yeah, that's good. So that's what we're going to leave this to do. And you can see it's not a fast process. It takes some time. We could be here a long, long time, but fortunately for me, when I'm waiting for plant terribles to grow, I can just stand here like this, leave my console running for several hours, and if I stand, in fact, right here, when the crabs die, any maps that drop should get sucked straight into my inventory, as uh, with this. But yeah, there's no much I can do. Maybe crabs weren't the best, because as you can see, there's a crab outside, and there's going to be a certain amount of crabs in the world. If there are crabs outside, there can't be crabs in here. Or as many crabs in here, as it were. But yeah, that's that. We're going to go over and turn this off. Like so. Oops, I still on pressure plates myself. So once this crab thing fades away, you can see it gets turned off. That's fine. Right, we are done. So it's like perfect, but it's working, and thank you very much to Zachary Zenner for that idea, that suggestion. It's been a while since we used the suggestion mod. Let's back up there. Blank, ready for fresh suggestions. Okay, put some stuff away. Put that away. Put that away. That away, and that away. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Right, what are we going to do now? 7.29, so it is the evening. Literally, as I said that, it became evening. Uh, so what we can do... Is maybe fight a Plantera? I don't know if we have any. 
We do have one in our local area. We shall go and fight this local plantera. Try not to get too rusty toasted on our flame traps. Down here. And down here. Throw that away. Don't take my wings off yet, as I was about to do. Very, very silly idea there. Now I can do that. How is that? How is that breaking the vines? That shouldn't have broken the vines. How did that work? That's a weird little bug. That is, that is a little bit weird. I'm not sure how that was working. Because at first thought, oh, maybe the bubbles are spawning above the... The, the blocks, but they weren't. So maybe it's like the natural radius around the weapon. I actually don't know. But it's interesting to think about anyway. Alright, Plantera. It feels like forever since we fought, even though it's only been like, what, three days, four days, something like that. Give me your stuff, please. <sighs> Fine. Wings back on. Do we have any over at our area? We can check. I'm not expecting any. I haven't been leaving my console on. Between this episode and the last. But we have one. One is better than none. Oh, we have two. You know, we've got a couple. We can go fight a couple of these. That should allow us to wrap around to daytime. And once we're at daytime, it means we can do another fishing quest. And I'm not actually going to record for a super long time today. Uh, the reason for that being, I actually tweeted this out uh, a day or two ago. Maybe it was yesterday. I don't know. I'm, I've, I have a bad memory. No, it must have been Saturday. Uh, basically, I have a problem with my PC at the moment, in that it is overheating really badly when I'm rendering videos, and even right now when I'm recording, it is overheating. Right now, the temperatures are approaching 70 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculously high for a simple recording thing. And when I was rendering uh, End Days Part 8, uh, our computer managed to reach over 100 degrees to the point where I had to thermal throttle itself. So it wouldn't break. Yeah, that's not good. Our My PC never used to be this bad. But it's within the last like three, four months, I've noticed it. The fans getting louder and it getting hotter and hotter. And I'm just like, oh, you know. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe if I clean it, it'll fix it. And I've cleaned it so many times, it's just not having any effect. So I'm thinking... The only thing at the moment I, I can think of is it's the thermal paste that I need replacing. I, I checked my pump because I have a liquid cooling system. The pump's still working fine. The the fans are all spinning up. That's all fine. It is literally just getting super hot. So the only thing at this moment in time that I can think of it being is the thermal paste. So I've ordered some thermal paste from Amazon. And super annoyingly, the delivery is taking a while and I say super annoyingly because you have like the free delivery which takes like three to five days for some reason the three to five day delivery was said to arrive within eight days it's like okay I'll I'll pay for not first class because they didn't have first class available but like no yeah not next day but first class uh, I ordered first class and that's still taking five days it's like are you kidding me paying extra for delivery and it's taking like nearly nearly a week and it's not some random seller on Amazon this is like fulfilled by Amazon they have it in their warehouse what the heck are you playing at Amazon get your crap together I've got a PC that's gonna self-destruct any moment now look at that tiny portion of corruption there how strange Yes, I am worried about, you know, doing protracted lengths of recording and rendering. Now, luckily, I've recorded so far ahead on Dark Souls and... Oh, there's a plantain rule there. I've recorded so far ahead on Dark Souls and Minecraft that I don't actually have to worry about recording them. 
and they are mostly edited. So I really have to worry about the rendering process, which luckily is not too long because the video is only like half an hour each. But end days, despite being you know like 40 minutes or whatever it was, because it is such a big thing to do, with so many layers to it, that it takes a lot, 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 lot longer to render than regular videos. So I'm hoping to get my thermal paste replaced before next end is. Because if I don't, I might not be able to actually render end is. Where am I going? I went too far. But seriously, I, I got so lucky that my PC got so hot that it shut down. But luckily it shut down about 30 seconds after rendering end is. I was saying to my sister that I've basically got a very expensive kettle at the moment because my PC has a liquid cooling system and managed to reach temperatures of over 100 degrees. That is literally a kettle. It just boils water. Is that really what you're hiding in here? Interesting. So yeah, uh, I really, really want to get this sorted. And um, you know, if you if your if your CPU gets too hot, it, you are risking damaging it. So I'm taking a lot of risks here, getting it to like 100 degrees at certain points. I am looking at that when I'm when I'm rendering Dark Souls and End Days, uh, Dark Souls and Minecraft. Sorry, that because it's not rendering for as long, it doesn't get as hot. It approaches about 80 degrees. Which, it just shouldn't be hitting those temperatures. Not with all the cooling stuff I have in it. Anywhere else with a nearby Plantera bulb? There is one above. Uh, yeah, we can get there. If I can fly, that is. Yes, I am, I am really concerned about this. Now, I actually got fortunate... Because I built my PC myself, despite never having built a PC before. I built it myself. And I was always worried that I'd maybe done something wrong. And one of the things I was worried about was thermal paste. Even though it's like a, such a simple thing. I was worried about, you know, what if I you know, put too much on and... Or drip it onto my motherboard and stuff like that and ruin everything. And I got really worried about if that happens. But luckily my liquid cooling system actually came with it pre-applied. I was tempted to scrape it off and add my own, but apparently the liquid cooling, uh, the liquid cooling system came with actually some really top-notch thermal paste. I'm like, okay, that'll do. But yeah, now I've got to replace it myself, and I am again slightly worried because I've never done it before. But it should be super simple. It should be literally put a tiny little bit on, and then reattach the cooler. But you know, when you've never done something before and Potentially, if you do it wrong, it could ruin your PC. It can be a little worrisome. Where the heck am I going? Across and down. Across and down. Come on. Oh, please don't tell me I've got the hiccups. I've just had two in a row. The third one will confirm it. I don't want to. I don't want to have the hiccups. Final Plantera, then we're going to go back and do one more fishing quest. And then I'm going to leave my console running. And I'm going to get uh, whatever it is. A bunch of maps. Yeah, so leaving my console running, by the way, has no effect on my PC. That's, it's just the console. So don't worry about that overheating. The Xbox 360 overheats really badly anyway. Oh, I saw... Golden text, but it was just a grenade launcher. Yeah, the Xbox 360 overheats pretty badly anyway, but it's it's not too bad. It is nearly morning. Unfortunately, I have to put away this stuff I just took out by accident. Come on. No, put that stuff back. It's not like him when I try to adjust left and right trigger. Not trigger, left and right buttons. I don't even have my 
wings equipped. And then I think I can put my spores in a chest. Oh no, we're full of keys. Let's add some more to it. I should not have this many keys. This is ridiculous. Where are my spores? There they are. It's a ridiculous amount of keys. We should not have had to have fought Plantera this much. 421, it is daytime, essentially. Give it like four seconds. Hello, Walter. I'm about to transform. Ooh, I'm a fish man. Take all of this crap. Put the money away. It is, of course, still raining. Because that's how dark my world loves to be. I don't have that. Angel fish. I do not have an angel fish, but you know what we do have? We do have a new and improved sky fishing place. So we can go and do that. Grab ourselves some bite. And then uh, ride the mil mil cat, The real cat as a fishman. We look stupid. <laughs> it's like a really bad fish tank. Right, we're out. I can't even tell where we are. Oh, we nearly there. Okay. And we're not going to make it. Oh, we did make it. Okay. Are we at the desert yet? It is daytime. It is daytime. And we have a light activated. Alright, I'm not... Don't complain about how dark the world is, please. I always do this. And it's... You guys don't like it when I complain this much. Okay, here we are in our new improved fishing hole. Right, I'm going to actually remember to put my fishing st stuff on. I'll even put that on just in case we get attacked by a wyvern. Bring that out. We drank a potion. We can do some fishing. We're looking for an angel fish, I do believe, was... I was about to say, why are we a werewolf? But then I realized it's because we switched out the thing of a bob. Angel fish in my bin. One more angel fish will do it for me. Also, I don't know why I caught a crit. I have absolutely no desire for crits. We have everything we could ever want. Stop giving me bass. Why is there a bass on a cloud? Thank you. Going home. Right, let's just use that to get out of the way. Throw this in the bin because I don't even care. Uh, we can re-equip these things. Yeah, that's correct. Put the fishing rod in there. Put the palladium in there. Put the bait and stuff in there. And then remember to change our armor back. Even though we're not fighting any planters right now. It's important to have the correct armor. Ivan, I did your quest. Also, I threw away an angel fish, didn't I? Yep, I threw away the angel fish. I'm very clever. Very clever. Right, well, that's going to do it for today's video. We have done everything we need to do. The one thing I actually do want to say before I end this video is about endays. You guys are getting a little bit too clever, and I need you to calm it down a little bit. I need you to calm down. The end of endays part A, I gave you guys a choice about whether to... Take the diamond to the sanctum or whether we should destroy it. Those are the two choices, one or the other. You're getting a little bit too far ahead of yourselves here by suggesting other things to do with it. Uh, I just need either destroy or keep. Those are your two options. And for those of you, there's a surprising amount of people that said do it. What does that mean? Do what? Destroy it or keep it? Be more specific. <laughs> but yeah, you need to let me know. Uh, you can you can give me all your outlandish theories. I don't mind. I love reading your theories about what's going on. Like, potentially what the ship is here for or Walter's in control and stuff like that. I love reading that stuff. But yeah, you need to, for in terms of voting for what happens, you need to say either take it to the Sanctum or destroy it. So yeah, if you, if you haven't said that already, go back and leave that comment. For now, though, thank you for watching. Goodbye.